four places and five places in the Holy Quran there is a mukalma correspondence of Satan with God when God created Adam in Surah Al-Hijr it came in Surah Al-Araf it came chapter 7 chapter 15 many places in Surah Al-Baqarah it came you know when Shaitan said to them, God Almighty I will not bow down to Adam because I am made from the smokeless fire and Ana Khairu Minu I'm better than him and he is made from this dust then Allah says okay you get out you enemy of God get out from this these, these things and then go to the world then you know what Satan said that time give me the respite till doomsday and you will see I will make your people ungrateful in gratitude Allah says you won't be able to do the mukhlasin the one I will pick them or I have chosen them you will never be able to distract those people or make them go astray because I have chosen them you know what he said that he said I will change their nature I will change their nature and I will allure them into the worldly love. That is why Allah says in Surah Al Hadith, chapter 57, verse number 20, that this whole world is amusement and a mere play. Everything is fake. This is shaitan makes you that it is everything is real. So love this world as much as you can from your heart. Now you understand the point here. This is the shaitan who want who promised God, I will change the nature. Now, what is the nature? Man is born woman is born through their sexual activity another child is born reproduction this is the natural process because this is normal you cannot help yourself without that is a natural thing instinct of human beings so what is the unnatural thing that you make something which is odd which is taboo which is unnatural unacceptable sick perversion and this is what shaitan did it now these lgtbt or whatever this uh, acronym these people are boasting around that this is the right thing this is our you know right it's our haq and we are born with this propensities lie it's a lie subterfuging bamboozling to the rest of the world that you are born nobody is born with the propensity of homo being homosexual nobody is born with the propensity of being gay this is all made up propaganda to support you know you need something to clinch on to just support your ideas with those rational explanation but inwardly those are all irrational explanation nobody is born with those kind of DNA structures here you adopt them you adopt them in the way because the way your upbringing is you live with those those homosexuals the girl is living with seven brothers she will act like a tomboy if those you know if the girl the seven girls sisters and one brother he will act like another like a woman this is what happens because the upbringing is all incorrect if your upbringing is right nothing will happen this is all the point here if your tree is weak everything will weak will be weak if the head is corrupt the body will be ruined this is the simple thing and the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You eat junky food, your body will become junky. You read junky stuff, your mind will become junky. It's not a rocket science or, the <clears throat> or calculus integration or some kind of things which you need to solve it. Like a problem solving issues. This is simple. 101. And we need to wake up where the world is going. But this is what Satan promised God. That I will change the nature of the human beings. And most of the people you will find. Those who will, who will be in gratitude to you. Kufura. They will be in gratitude. They, don't will, they will never listen to you. They will not listen to you. Then Allah says. Then I will throw them into the hellfire. With you. On the day of judgment. And on the day of judgment. Satan will say to oh Allah. I always worship you. I always worship you. I just try to, you know, mislead these people. And it's their fault because they were so low in their moral values. So punish them. Even shaitan will reject you on the day of judgment. And now you're talking about the human rights, equality, equality, gender and all that stuff. Open your eyes. What are you talking about? What is happening to you? Why the man is not acting like a man anymore? You see, this is what's happening to us. Allah has created our glands in our body. You see, they secrete hormones. There's something glands in your brain, in your body, in the midsection, everywhere this gland. 
There's a gland by the name of pituitary. This gland controls things in your body. There's a gland in your testes which controls of your man stuff. You see, when you are acting like a woman, when you see every time the woman thinks, and that's the man is acting like, like a soft, like a jelly. What happens to you? Your body, your, your, your brain produces chemicals. Why Prophet said that they sit with the good people in the good community? You are raised with the community of soldiers. You will act like a soldier. You are raised in the community, community of those marshmallows. You will become one of them. Spartans in Greece. A child is nine, six years by a guy. A child is nine or six years old. They throw them into the wilderness to fight with the wolves in the snow. Then they become what? Spectre of wars. You see, this is what happened. And nowadays, if a child has a small prick, the parents get worried. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, so, so my, my son, my sweetheart, my this, my that. You see, we have made them so. We have made them like this. Can't you see what we are doing to our children? We are making them so weak, fragile, like a woman. So little wonder they become and act like a woman. But it does not mean that they start beating your kids. That's not my point. I'm saying there is a way to rear them. You see, rearing is the most important thing. How you develop upbringing, rearings, these are the most important things when the child is growing. In, in psychology, we are being told that you have three stages, imprint stage, then you have your, uh, what you call socializing stage, then you have another stage. These three stages are the most important with the imprint, the most fundamental stage. Then you have the middle stage, then you have socializing stage if these upbringing the imprint stage is not right remember that the middle and the last stage will not do much good for you so this is the message to my viewers and listeners Allah has made us the lions we should act like one of them this these fitna which we are facing all around the world you cannot escape that this is the part and the test with Prophet Muhammad says the signs of the Yom Al Qiyamah and this is we have to face but how we have to face through the right methodology of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him if you don't do it if you find your own way your own guide your own sailor your own course then sooner or later your ship will sink the way the Titanic sank what was the reason that if the creator of Titanic he boasted that I have made something of titanium even the God cannot you know sink it this is what we are doing the way we have become we think that we are on the boat is so strong that even God cannot move us that's it we are gods ourselves everybody is a little Fir'aun is a little Pharaoh or a little Nimrud everybody is a little God by himself or by herself we control our body you are nothing. We are nothing. We are so insignificant. We are so helpless. We cannot control our heartbeats. What you are talking about? You see in medical we are being told that we have two types of nerves, systems. One is involuntarily muscles or involuntary nerves or another is voluntary. You see we have some things in our body. We cannot even control our body. Intestines. Can you control your intestine? Can you tell your stomach do not digest this food? Can you tell your eyes that do not make your pupil or the lens short and wide when the light is on your eyes can you control it no you can't can you control your heartbeats your brain of the compartment is controlling brain stem cerebellum all these uh, parts of your brain they control respiratory when you're sleeping they control your balance can you stop them no but you want to stop the whole world and you want to challenge god that god you do not exist we exist